I'm in the northern Adelaide Plains visiting Perpetual's vast greenhouses to cook with some of their beautifully fresh produce. At Perpetual we, uh, we grow a range of different uh, vegetables, so we, we grow eggplant, we grow uh, mini cucumbers and we grow uh, a range of different types of uh, tomatoes. Uh, we began just with two hectares of greenhouses and we've now grown to 12 hectares. We've got plans to build another 16 hectares of, of new glass houses over the coming five years. There's new advancements all the time, there's new technology coming in. And that's one of the exciting things I, I think about the, the horticulture industry. You know, there's things like robotics which are becoming more mainstream and I think over the next 10 years we'll, we'll see a lot more of that. And that's, um, it's exciting to be a part of that change and, and that evolution in, in how we grow food. So Nick, this is the wonderful world of greenhouse tomatoes. What variety do we have here? Yeah, so we've got a, a trust tomato that we're, that we're growing here. So um, it's all um, part of a, a greenhouse environment. Mm -hmm. So we've got uh, complete control of uh, the environmental conditions that are in here. So the right temperature, the right humidity, um, and that you know really helps the plant to, to produce the best fruit that it can. So. And speaking of fruit, the amount of fruit here is incredible. It looks like little baubles on Christmas tree. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, look, it, All it's, the different colours. it's different to probably what a lot of people think of when they, when they think of tomato plants yeah. and, and farming and, and this sort of thing. But yeah. it's, um, it's really the, the way of the future and, and how a lot of the, the produce is, is being grown these days. I've got a really interesting Sicilian style eggplant okay. and tomato dish that I would love to cook for you. Right. Will you allow me to take some of these tomatoes? Back. Absolutely, yeah, we'd love you to cook something with the, the nice produce. Alright, I hope you like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it smells fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. It was so interesting to see how tomatoes grow here in this hot house. So I'm going to make a really delicious dish showing off these tomatoes and eggplant. They also grow fantastic eggplant. Now, back in the days, they would salt eggplant, but I don't worry about doing that. But what I am doing is taking the skin off. I'm making this eggplant and tomato salsa, so I just want the flesh. So for this recipe, you'll need one large eggplant or two medium eggplants. And when they're nice and firm and fresh, I mean, these can't get any fresher, you'll see that it peels quite easily. And now I'm going to chop them into small pieces. So I'll take the top off. I'll cut them in half and then cut them into long strips and then dice them. Now, because eggplant are like sponges, they love lots of oil and lots of flavour. And that's what I'm going to add to this, giving it a Sicilian touch with a combination of pine nuts and sultanas at the end. So we've got this sweet, salty and almost acidic flavour from some sherry vinegar. It is delicious as a dip or served as a bruschetta. OK, that's fantastic. Now turn the heat on. You'll need a sauté pan for this. You want this on a medium heat and a generous glug of extra virgin olive oil. So I'll add enough just to cover the base of the sauté pan and then we'll add our beautiful fresh eggplant. Good sizzle and I'll give that a stir. And now I'll add a generous pinch of salt and some pepper. Now I'm going to add some cumin seeds. They have a lovely nuttiness and go so nicely with the eggplant. So a pinch of them. Now we're just going to fry this for a few minutes until we get a light golden colour. I don't want it to be too dark because I do want to keep the integrity of the eggplant. Once we do get some colour on this, I'll add some tomato. Now these are the beautiful truss tomatoes that Nick and I saw. They are so ripe, so juicy. And what I've done is just place them in some boiling water for 10 seconds, not even, to remove the skin. I don't want any skin in this recipe. And then I finally chop them. I've left the seeds in because I do want them to be super juicy and give off some water for this dish. Okay, this is looking good. See how they're starting to soften and we've got some colour there? Great. Now we can add our tomatoes. So that's two trussed tomatoes. And now we're just going to allow that to fry off for another five minutes. Then I'm going to pop the lid on and cook it for a further five to 10 minutes until it's really soft and slowly starting to caramelise. OK, 
Okay, this has been cooking for 10 minutes. Smells so good. And you can see there's still a little bit of oil there, but that's okay. The tomatoes have flavoured that oil. So it's almost like a tomato oil in here. I love this, but it's not finished yet. We need to impart some sweetness. So some sugar. And we need some acid to balance it all out. So some sherry vinegar. So a splash of that. So that's the sweet and sour component, but also for some extra sweetness, these are just some raisins that I've soaked in some warm water and roughly chopped. And now I'm going to turn the heat off because you can see that that tomato is just completely broken down and have given this a lovely colour. Okay, now for some herbs, a combination of mint and parsley for this, just to freshen it up and a pop of colour. Finally chop it. Great. We'll pop that into our dish. For some crunch, some pine nuts that I've toasted. And then just stir that through. Now this is burrata. Burrata is a Thai cheese, similar to mozzarella, but inside it has cream. So when you break into it, it's all gooey. It is sensational. And I didn't throw away the water. I actually used the water in this dish. So about a quarter of a cup of it went in here just to soften the eggplant. Now let's plate up. I'll grab a generous amount of our eggplant salsa. And the tomatoes, I just can't resist. I have to garnish with a few more. These sweet pearls are so sweet. Great for snacking, but also great in a dish like this. Cut them in half. And these ones have a zebra pattern and they're darker in colour. And then, well, these ones, these yellow tomatoes, just like the sunshine. With my tomatoes, I insist on it. I like some salt just to bring out their gorgeous sweetness. So salt over the top of them, give them a stir, and then we'll pop them on top. And now for this burrata, you have to be really careful with burrata so it doesn't pop before you serve it. We'll place that on top, let it rest. And because this is still warm, you can see the burrata automatically starting to burst and that delicious cream coming out of the sides. This is heaven for me. I love that combination when it's mixed with the oil and the eggplants and the pine nuts, so good. Last thing I wanna add is just some of this tomato oil just drizzled over the top. And we need to season the burrata, so a small pinch of salt. And I have some crusty bread to go with this. I hope Nick is going to like this. I'm gonna bring two forks and I'm gonna give him a taste. Nick, I hope wow. you're hungry. I am, yeah, what have you made? So this is the eggplant with sherry vinegar. It's got sultanas in it, pine nuts, all of your beautiful tomatoes and lots of olive oil. Fantastic, <laughs> it looks great. So okay. please have a taste. And then this on top is a burrata, which loves tomatoes, just like buffalo mozzarella. But when you break into it, just like this, you'll see this delicious creamy cheese come out of it. So like, mix it in with the eggplant Lovely. and grab a tomato with it. That's beautiful. Nice. Really, really good. Thanks Excellent. for showing me around. No, thank you. Really Excellent. interesting stuff. And it's um, yeah. got a newfound love for tomatoes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>